Hey, welcome back to a very new video. But if you're new here, my name is Katja and on this channel I talk mostly about K-pop, language studies, books, manga, basically all things that I love in life. And for this week's video, I had hoped to unbox a Seraphim Crazy, their album. And uh, yeah, no, there won't be an unboxing regarding that. Because uh, unfortunately, due to Chuseok, we first couldn't send out the albums on time, which is totally understandable. Um, but the thing is as well, that the shop that I ordered from, they will be closed till later in October. Meaning that the albums won't arrive for at least a month. And the thing is, the crazy album fits the Halloween theme so well. And I was hoping to redecorate this week and do all the Halloween bits, but also combine it with the crazy era. I thought that would be a perfect mix. Luckily, I always leave my Halloween decor until the end of November. But still, it's... I'm a bit sad about it. Normally, literally, I never care if it's a month later or two months even. But this time around, I'm like, ah, I really wish that the albums arrived somewhere this week. But um, no, I will have to wait another three weeks or so, if not maybe possibly longer. So that was a long rant. Nevertheless, I still want to redecorate my room and I will see how I can use other albums to do that especially with like the no easy album of stray kids that looks so cool and fits the halloween theme perfectly so we'll see i'm still gonna redecorate and luckily there is still or multiple unboxings actually because i bought some pcs finally i'm getting back in the pc right <laughs> honestly guys due to my name change it was just a lot and it's also quite funny that I now can say that a lot of things that were happening in my life that I couldn't do certain things that was all due to the name change and I can finally just share that with you guys and be honest about it anyway so the PCs that will arrive are from all different people so that's nice besides that i also want to focus on my language studies especially korean i have the feeling i am so incredibly behind for the last few weeks i've been pushing german um that also had to do with some work related stuff but yeah i have the feeling that me and korean needs to reconnect somewhere this week so i planned out a lesson plan kind of to do at least five classes this week so fingers crossed that i can manage because i know that it is a lot especially if you started from last week doing the bare minimum and then go to multiple classes in one week and all the other things we'll just have to see i also want to read a lot of books and manga so let's just start this very nerdy week i have the feeling it's the time again I got mail! Let's open it up! I bought three Hee PCs, all from the Keep Going On era. It makes me so excited when I can buy multiple PCs at once, because it makes collecting a little bit easier. And I'm even more excited because I'm only one more PC missing of this collection, and that is the light purple background. I'm so sorry, I forgot which album that is, or which album version. But hey, at least I got one version completed, so now one more. And I'm really close in completing my Behiyi collection as of all the albums that are currently out right now. Before I totally forget to show you guys, these are the stories that I hope to read this week. First up, My Happy Marriage, the third volume. I almost finished this one. And then I can move on to the Apothecary Diaries. Funny enough, also volume 3. And after that, I talked about this author so many times, but I hope to read her latest release, A Crane Among Wolves. Also this week. New day, new envelope. Let's open it up. It are Jenny and Felix from the 8th era. I am far from done 
of completing the AIDS era, but one PC at a time, and before you know it, I've collected them all. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's kind of funny how life works itself out because I just got an email saying that a package that was supposed to arrive somewhere next week or even the week after is gonna arrive this week and yes, it's K-pop related. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting for this package for also quite a while. It was a pre-order, not as long as my Le Seraphim albums, but um, well, actually a part of the package I've been wanting to get for quite a while. So yeah, those are the updates. Very exciting. <laughs> No, um, I'm also gonna go and learn some Korean right now because I've been behind. <laughs> I did not know what to say. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, it, it has been a lot. Last night, Kiss of Life dropped their album trailer for Lose Yourself, the mini album. And it looks so freaking Good. I love the message, I love the videography, I mean, these girls, they work so incredibly hard and you can tell by just watching this trailer how much it pays off their hard work. Hey, so my camera decided to completely break down on me. I mean, the camera has been around in my life for the past decade, so it's totally fine and I was anticipating that it was gonna break down one of these days but yeah that means that the rest of this vlog will be on my phone so excuse the difference of quality however i do think this phone is actually pretty good when it comes down to filming so yay anyway let's get back into kiss of life which is making me so excited for their upcoming album that will come out at the 15th of october this is definitely a group that I've been watching since last summer and I am thinking of collecting them. They will probably be the last group that I will collect in full just because of space issues. I mean, I am planning on moving out of this house next year, so I would have more space to do so. But yeah, this group is just so incredibly good. And I love the concept, like I just said. I love how the team behind Kiss of Life is working so well together. I mean, we only see clips, but it looks like they all have a vision. And I absolutely adore that for the girls. So I am planning to filming next week when they are doing a pre-release for their album. And also during the week when they are, well, releasing this album. Just because I am really intrigued by this group and I just simply love the members and the concept and their music. Let's do a quick reading update. I finished my Happy Marriage, the third volume, also the third volume of the Apothecary Diaries. And honestly, this volume made me want to read the next one immediately after. And that made me decide that I am not going to read a Crane Among Wolves by June Her. this vlog, just because I am in such a manga mood. Also, I only have a few days when it comes down to my audiobook subscription. And I think I want to finish a couple of audiobooks before that subscription ends. It's Friday and excuse me for still using my phone. I mean, the camera is just, it, it's done for. So... I will be filming as of right now on my phone because I don't have the plans as of yet to replace my old camera. Just because at the beginning of the year I bought a new photography camera and also recently I bought a new phone because of the name change that I did. Like, if you want to know more about it, watch the last vlog. But this is now the phone for my old name and the new phone is for my new name. I just prefer to keep it separately. And so it actually kind of worked out perfectly and I don't need to feel guilty of buying another phone while this one was actually quite working well. I mean, it's definitely getting older. So yeah, it's now my designated video camera. 
<laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, last night I got a package that came in a week earlier. So that's amazing. Anyway, I got myself, and I will keep it up in the bubble wrap, I got new photo card sleeves because I was starting to run out of my old supply that I had for the past two years, I believe. So I've been doing pretty good. But this was why I made the order. The Rolling Stones with Stray Kids. I will show it. Oh yeah, that is because I'm filming on my phone, right? It's all mirrored. Ooh, that is quite interesting right now. I'm so sorry <laughs> for this ramble. Anyway, I will show it the other way around uh, after this clip. But I got myself the Rolling Stones with Stray Kids on the front cover. And they have quite a big tutorial in here. So I'm really excited to read. Also, for some reason, I've never bought myself the Rolling Stones, even though I do like a lot of the content in here. So I'm going to have a blast this weekend with the magazine. And then the other thing that was in here was RM, his Right Place, Wrong Person album. And I specifically wanted to have version A. I actually even waited until there were multiple unboxings live so I could see which version I most wanted. And A came on top of that. So yeah, I finally got it. It's Saturday already. Can you believe it? Anyway, I was occupied yesterday by two things. First off, I needed to set up my new phone because, well, my camera broke down and now I'm filming on my old phone and this is now my day-to-day -day phone but look it matches my wall <laughs> I did not know it I just bought it because I love the color and yes of course it makes sense that since I have it on my wall that I also like it as a phone but I did not know that it was the exact same color but here we are anyway when I was setting this up I got an email from talk to me in Korean and they launched the platform for the current users, if you are subscribed to them. And it's all super, super different. So I set it up my new account and everything. And I will have a subscription until 2026. Oh my. So hopefully a lot of Korean studyings will be going on. But I love how the new platform looks. By the way, this is not sponsored. I just honestly love the surfaces. So I'm thinking, actually, ooh, sorry <laughs> for bumping into my laptop. Um, but I'm actually thinking about reviewing my old classes to see what they changed. Because I saw that, especially with level one, because I'm still at level one, I know it's tragic. But they added some extra things, a review quiz, sample dialogue. I knew that they had that before, but I just love how everything looks nowadays. And also, oh, let me not show the complete lesson, um, but I love how they currently structured everything. It looks so incredibly clean. So yes, let's go for a study session. It's Sunday. I don't know what happened to Saturday, but all of a sudden it was Sunday. And now it's time to clear out all these shelves, clean it up, make it Halloween-y, and also reorganize my K-pop shelves. I had to take a big, big break of decorating because my mom was like, hey, shall we bring all the boxes from the attic downstairs so you can look through them and see which books you want to keep and which you want to donate like I was actually planning to do for a couple of months but well like I said in other vlogs uh, a lot of things have been going on in my life so I couldn't do that at that time but here we are and these are some of the books that are currently still staying or I'm giving those to friends and one of these boxes is going to go to, hopefully, actually, I'm going to sell it. Um, but yeah, I am going to donate over a thousand books. Yes. A one and three zeros. It's 
a lot, I know, but you know what? I am planning on moving out somewhere next year, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And I think it's just for the best, you know, um, to start somewhere new. And I think all the, most of those books were already read. And I think that someone else is going to enjoy them way more than I do, since it's going to be their first time reading those books and stories and make new memories. Right? So I thought that was just for the best. So I've got quite a spread over here. First up the Lego flowers that I want to put away. Then I have some Halloween stuff. Also I found this Pikachu. I think it's perfect to put on the shelf when the crazy album of La Seraphim arrives due to the line Pikachu in their title track. That's also named after crazy. And then I love candles. These are fake. These are LED. But it feels super, super cozy. So I want to put them up. Yes. I am so excited for these cozy months. I'm going to start the redecorating process with the small bookshelf. And the team over here is going to be cozy. Yesterday evening, it was getting so dark. So I decided to reorganize my shelves during the wrap up section. This is what we are working with today. Over here, chick chick boom. Then there, La Seraphim, the flame tour rises. And the flame tour rises? No, the flame rises store. <laughs> anyway, I want to change this up over here. And also the La Seraphim shelf. Oh yeah, some PCs that I need to put away. I don't think I will change this up as of right now. But who knows, because somewhere in October, a lot of things will change. And then in November again, due to some stuff coming in. But um, yeah, we actually need to talk about that first. So before we're going to redecorate, let me talk music things. Yesterday evening, Kiss of Life released their album Sampler. And why is it so freaking good? I mean, their music has been good right from the get-go. But this sounds like a masterpiece. I remember someone saying that it sounded like a lot from the Zeros and the 2010s. And I have to agree, it feels so nostalgic. But at the same time, it feels fresh. And the voices of Kiss of Life, I, I just adore it. So this morning, the albums were released for sale or for pre-order. And I'm going to get it. So yeah, I'm gonna collect Kiss of Life. It's decided. It's official. They are incredible. I was actually gonna wait for this comeback to decide if I was gonna collect them, yes or no. And this album sampler just sent it. It was the last drop that I needed to happen. And uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the music to drop. First up next week. And yes, I will be vlogging that week when they have their pre-release. And of course, I will also vlog during the week that they have their album release. <sighs> I'm so excited. Also, a shout out to Itzy, their gold album concept trailer. I loved the vibes of Halloween, Christmas, chic trailer and then rock like hello it feels like we are gonna go back to the first year of itzy i know a lot of people have been wanting that era back and to be honest i also really love that era i think it fits the girls actually really so much better so i am hyped for their album as well it comes out on the same day as kiss of life their album so it's going to be a weekend after that release. But I am very happy. Wait, is it going to be a week? No, it's going to be a week. Because they both release on Monday. <gasps> oh my. that That's going to be something else. <laughs> anyway, I'm super freaking excited for both their albums. Anyway, here I am buying every single Kiss of Life album that has been released so far. Unfortunately, not their debut album that has been sold out for like the past six months or so so i really hope that the company is gonna resell them remake them because yeah it's probably gonna be out of stock everywhere i haven't seen it even on a green side in a hot minute so <sighs> fingers crossed that it will come back but um i'm really happy that i can 
get these albums. Welcome to the cozy corner. I know I kept everything very clean and minimal. I... Oh, I am actually, by the way, very sad that my new Lesser films didn't come in. I mean, the poster in the Tundra's version would have been perfect for the Halloween theme, but uh, alas, I have to wait for that one. But yeah, I kept everything very minimal, especially because I already know now that I will change a lot of things, especially on my K-pop shelves over the next few weeks, because constantly new things are coming in. So this just with the bunny, with the pumpkin, how cute is it? I teamed it up with the Rolling Stone. I love it. And then over here I have these lights that are purple spiders. And since I have like this lilac theme going on in my room, I thought, yes, love this. And over here, most of the things stay the same, only the Lesser Film shelves have changed a little bit so over here the albums some photo books the cute teddy bear necklace and then i also moved some seraphim stuff over here together with the tour d no not a dvd nowadays uh but the tour of august d on the digital codes so yeah very minimal but it looks honestly great at night when i sit on my bed and I'm watching a TV show or I'm reading. It just feels so incredibly cozy. Let's wrap this video up by unboxing RM's Right Place Wrong Person. I got myself version A. This is the Lyrics booklet. Then over here we have the photo book. It's so big, y'all. And then also very big posters. Then we have, well, it says these are postcards, and yes, it also looks like that on the back. However, I would mostly say these are mini posters, because look at that. They are big. Then we have photo cards, and I believe everything that is included with version A, it's not random. It are A inclusions. And then lastly, of course, the CD. And I love how the package is designed, because... Over here we have the title of the album, but then over here we have all the tracks. And I like that, especially when I, well, basically when I want to listen to the album and I put it over there where now the eighth album is, and then I can see which number we are at or what is the next number or I don't know. <laughs> I just like to know these things. That was it for now. I hope to see you next time. Bye.